What's going on, guys? How you doing? What's going on, guys? How you doing? Chilling? You're... What's going on, guys? It's your boy, King Joffy Joe. How you doing? Chilling? You already know me. Chilling like always. Um, Yo, today... All right, I know you guys been waiting. Y'all like, yo, King Jaffe Joe, y'all showed us, the, you showed us the worst bike we ever seen. You know what I'm saying? Shit was garbage. And uh, you stopped showing us videos. You know what I'm saying? We was looking forward to the series of builds. You know what I'm saying? What happened was, you know what I'm saying? We did what we did. Remember, come over, come around. We got the bike. It's all apart still, except for the parts I was showing y'all last time. Remember I showed y'all the uh, bottom clutch and the uh, upper clutch we had to replace all that stuff the back casing we replaced all that so we did all that i found all the stuff on ebay for cheap um the upper clutch the secondary clutch the primary clutch we found that on ebay for a cheaper price uh what we did with the primary secondary clutch was we opened it up we put new rollers in it because we don't we just want to start with fresh rollers high torque rollers we put the uh new belt on there obviously new casings new uh metal shroud because it didn't have it originally so we had to purchase all that on ebay all that found a good deal you know what i'm saying so when you brought to fix your bike make sure you look on ebay before you go buying new stuff all right but then after i did that i was like now i'm ready to take it on a ride so i'm gonna change the spark plugs i'm gonna change the spark plugs so went to go change the spark plugs i pulled out the spark plug the coil pack oil on the coil pack right down in this hole right here so right down in the first uh spark plug hole right here in the front it's really oily. I pulled the brick back one out first, pulled this middle one out, pulled this front one out right here, pulled it out. The bottom of the coil pack had oil all over it. That coil pack, there's no oil supposed to be in there. You know what I'm saying? No oil supposed to be in there. So what that means is the valve cover is bad. So I'm like, I had to stop there. Could have did it, but had to stop there. Ordered the parts, obviously. When I poured the carbon, could have did it, but I knew you guys want to see. Yo, King Joffy Joe. We need to see you install the valve cover. So we got the valve cover right here. Um, ordered it from the dealership. Valve cover comes with the three rings, which mainly I don't see no oil leaking around the side of the valve cover. So it could be just one of these rings is bad. But once you peel it off, you know, I want to put it back down. You know what I'm saying? Because then it's going to be leaking on the side. And you know, like, ah, now I got to take it back off and do it again. So you don't, you never just change the seals. But if you're going to change the outside and the seals aren't, the middles aren't leaking, you still change those as well. So you always change them together as a set. All right, so quick and easy, you know what I'm saying? Um, I already got it started. We got, if you look down here, we got this wire here that we got running that runs all the wires. These wires are zip tied onto these brackets. So these are 30 millimeter T30s. So we're gonna take those three out, remove those three, that's gonna get the wires off. Um, then we got six 10 millimeter bolts that we got to take out once we remove those six 10 millimeters we should be able to get the valve cover off um might use have to use a pry bar to pop it up because it may be stuck down but and then um uh, just gotta do that real quick so i already got it loosened up So, where did that seal go? Right here, right there. All right, 
So look at that's, the, one that's, that's the front one that's leaking. So that's how that's looking, and we're missing some pieces of it. So. Yeah, yes, we are missing some pieces of it. Right Need some tweezers. I mean, not tweezers, needle nose. So that's, that's why it was leaking, huh? So that's the one that was leaking right there. That looks like the uh, full piece right there to me. Yeah, that looks like the full piece right there. So, you know what I'm saying? That, I'm really going to, I don't even want to knock on wood. Where the wood at? Because I don't want to jinx it, but this is actually going a little smoother than, you know what I'm saying, you could expect. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes you could take it apart. Gasket looks good. You're like, uh, is the gasket good? You know what I'm saying? You're just wondering and stuff, but... This gasket's definitely broken, so we know that's the problem, and that's what we thought was the problem, so. Yeah, they're kind of brittle, so. Sign you want to look out for when you're doing your uh, valve covers. Um, your, I mean, your spark plugs, so keep an eye out for this, guys. Just in case, you might have to change yours. All right, we're going to just wipe this down right here. Let's wipe that down. Take a look over here, make sure there's no... Uh, Pieces inside there, stuck inside the groove. Uh, That's where you put the, you put the yeah, on there. Yeah, on those. And then we're gonna pull the old gasket out here. This is the old gasket there, right? So these, we sit these, it's recessed. If you look over here, you see that they're recessed on this side. So you're gonna be putting these in here prior to putting your valve cover back on um some valve cover get valve covers on cars you would put these inside the valve cover not on the block or the head and sometimes a b because you're trying to put this on they falling out but a good trick is if you have permatex you can put permatex on it to hold it in there which i had wish i had some because i might need it for this part but i don't all right so we're gonna get all of these in there We're just gonna go it's around this. Flooded. It was flooded. <laughs> already. Yeah, that's why. That's how I knew. Just gonna wipe around the where the valve cover is gonna sit. Just so it's a little better. Just for uh, peace of mind. But if you take your valve cover off and it like breaks and stuck on there, like it's, it's like cracking and breaking, and there's pieces stuck on the head, you're gonna want to make sure that you. Get all that off before you put it down. This, that's going to cause a leak. Um, if these wires are in your way, we're going to unplug the injectors just so we can move the wire back a little bit more. So we just unplugged the injector so I can give myself a little bit more room when I'm putting this back in there. There we go. Now I can pull this back. Now, we got a lot of open space. Not over here though, but I'm back here. It's a little tight. We'll get her done. Watch out for all this stuff. All right. All right. I want to come in and put it in from this side. Yeah, let's see if we can just put this in there. Get way more space. Let me show you. All right. All right. So, if you did have permatex, because you would put permatex inside these grooves, and that would help this stay in there when you're trying to get it in there. Stay inside the uh, valve cover. But hopefully she's nice and snug and she stays in there where we're trying to put her in and we don't got to fight with her because I'll find something to squirt in there to make her stay. <laughs> Vaseline would do. Pause. I'm just saying it'll be thick enough. Pause. Pause. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> it just got worse and worse. It just got worse and worse. No, Diddy. We're coming from this side. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Double check to make sure she's sitting down. The gasket's still in there. It looks nice over here. It's sitting nice over here too. It's in there all the way around. All right. All right. I can look through the holes on the top. I can see that the rubber pieces, the uh, center gaskets, are still in place. Boom. So now we're gonna put these back in here. I didn't look for the torque specs on these, but. Just gonna tighten them down. You're not gonna look for the torque specs. I should. Yeah, you should. To avoid the comments. All right. Put it in right across the bottom. Put it in right in across the bottom. Yeah. Right. Well, should I torque it down or not? Okay. Huh? Should I torque it down? Yeah. I mean, I gotta go fucking figure it out. Let me get the paper real quick. Oh, you can stop it right there. All right, guys. So now we got these bolts in here. All right, we're just gonna tighten them down, and then we're gonna torque them down. All right, we're just gonna. I'm gonna tighten this. I'm gonna tighten it. I'm gonna like tighten it a little bit here, a little bit over here, and across the whole side. All right, let's do it. All right, so these bolts actually, these bolts plus the ones that go on the top, they all get that tightened down to. 80 inch pounds. So 80 there. All right, so we got torque down 80. Um, I just like to give it a little snugger, just for my, just for my uh, personal preference. Preference, yeah, I like to snug it down just a little bit more. I just know how we ride. You know what I'm saying? Give it a little bit of extra pressure, cause we gonna give it a little bit of extra pressure. Right. <laughs> right. right. <laughs> Not too much. You don't want to break the bolt. You break the bolt, you're going to be in a whole another world of no, no. <laughs> you're not going to be happy with yourself. All right, so now plugging the injectors back in. So we don't want to forget that. Um, we're going to bolt these wires back down. One, two. Three, at least three now. Three's right here. Zip tie broke on it, but we'll get it fixed up. These also call for 80 pounds. So. I can't wait to ride this shit. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, 
I'm a leader. My son, I can't wait to go around like this. You're saying you don't get back to go around every day. So you're the first one to go around like this. <laughs> You know, we're just going to torque them down to 80 like it tells us to do because, you know what I'm saying? This is how we do it. We do it by the book. We do it by the book. You know what I'm saying? We do it by the book. Plus one more. Plus <laughs> <laughs> one more. All right. So, basically, guys, you just see me do a valve cover gasket. You know what I'm saying? Can and Wrecker 900. Can and Wrecker Rally. This is a rally. Can and Wrecker Rally 2020. Um, valve cover gasket, you ain't never seen no one do it yet. You know what I'm saying? First one you seen, King Joffy doing it, bring it to you first, like, you know what I'm saying? And the words of Shoja Boy, I did it first. Before we go, I forgot to let you know, next video we're gonna be doing, yeah, you know, I shouldn't even be telling y'all that, cause you know what I'm saying? People are gonna try to do it before me. But as you can see, there's leaking right here, there's a leak right here. Um, the seal needs to be changed. So your boy King Joffy Joe is gonna be showing you how to do this in the next video. All right, so, um, but, I ain't gonna do the uh, spark plugs now. You guys seen videos of doing that. Um, I can't do it if you ask me to. Show y'all a video on that, but you can go back to my footage, check one of my old videos out. But check you on the next one. Peace.